Welcome to Purna Holistic uh, Care, uh, which is integrated with the uh, prime, primary service of neurology. And uh, from my side and uh, Dr. Shashikant are uh, integrating uh, this uh, multiple uh, allied system of uh, medicines in the form of uh, Ayurveda, Yoga, Acupuncture, Moxibusion and even Psychotherapy and all those things. So, primarily the major part of our service is uh, yoga and ayurveda where uh, ayurveda many of maybe um, trying to explore many of the uh, ayurveda uh, component how it will help you but majorly there are four things you need to understand in ayurveda how it is helps ayurveda is not a just a medicinal treatment like uh, any of the other uh, system of medicines majorly it works in lifestyle second one is diet and uh, third one is uh, some medicinal treatment fourth one is uh, the medicinal treatment come uh, some therapies also and last one is most important mind body medicine that also explained in ayurveda very well the we call it as sattva vajaya that is uh, winning our own mind over uh, the uncontrolled thoughts so in this part uh, starting from lifestyle definitely you may be uh, trying hard to uh, how to make a good lifestyle starting from diet each and every activity in the whole day how we do that matters a lot each and every moment you are trying to enjoy that itself is a very good lifestyle how to make it a joyful life that is uh, what is uh, lifestyle correction is required but many of us we don't have any clue how to make it joyful with so much pain so in that part with the support of uh, the medications and the therapies and other uh, lifestyle correction uh, so slowly we will getting some confidence some co the positivity in the mind that you need to carry through that makes a very good uh, lifestyle itself in fact if you really try to explore how what exactly the beautiful lifestyle is it is nothing but healthy mind the positive mind and confident mind that itself will make us very much uh, you know good into the lifestyle 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 correction happens from the mind only what i mean is so the next is the diet diet again it will be part of uh, lifestyle only but still we strongly believe in uh, three ma major categories of uh, uh, the diet part the food part particularly sattva rajas and tamas are the three major you may be knowing uh, how exactly it works Sattva is uh, the more of uh, modern way of explaining is uh, more of uh, more of a bland diet kind of thing, not any extremes of uh, you know spices, oily or uh, even too much sweets. All those things better we need to avoid. Hmm? That makes a very good program in connecting the body and mind. This is where uh, the healing starts. We call it as self healing. And uh, 
Of course, uh, according to your personal uh, challenges, the spasticity or rigidity or fatigue or those things, there will be certain uh, modified uh, uh, this one that is uh, professionally uh, it is our responsibility. And uh, simultaneously, the next part is uh, the medicinal treatment. Again, it is a professional responsibility. We will decide what type of uh, medications works for you. The medication wise, there are multiple formulations, so the tablets and decoctions and uh, asava saristas, the, the fermented medications. And most uh, uh, appealing the part of uh, the medication, in particularly in Ayurveda for neurodegenerative disorders is a ghee preparation. It is a wonderful preparation, it helps in multiple ways. Uh, modern science also, it easily agrees this particular preparation, how it works. Because in uh, brain, the BBB, that uh, blood brain barrier, that is a very challenging part to, you know, enter into medicines, entering into brain part. The ghee is the best uh, uh, the media which carries the medicines more uh, fluently. That part, uh, very strangely, in ancient uh, text, all the textbooks, it is clearly mentioned, none of the other medications works for any of the mind related disorders. So, uh, mind is a function of the brain only, but uh, most of the brain disorders, they are well, very well healed. With our practice, we understood that it will be very well healed with the, the ghee preparations. There is no inhibition for taking extra ghee for weight or any other things. They are all very superficial understandings. It won't give any untoward things with the ghee preparation. Make it very clear. If it is properly uh, classically prepared ghee preparation, it is a very good formulation. It helps in multiple ways. Practically, we have seen. Only the lacking part with the Ayurveda is uh, two major things globally. One is uh, documentation and the research. Thing. Another thing is uh, the standardization of medicines that is also very much lacking. Once it comes to the documentation and uh, this one, again it is very hard to do researches because Ayurveda believes its own philosophy. It is a different philosophy we have where this Vata, Pitta, Kapha and all those things, it is very much uh, difficult to integrate with this uh, modern science. So, in that part, so, we do not uh, believe in treating uh, the patients, we treat in, uh, we believe in treating the person only, the not diseases, the person. There is a huge difference between treating the person and the disease. In this part, it is very difficult to convince the modern aspect. There we are really lacking with this, uh, uh, in uh, competing with this uh, modern science. Uh, that is why the uh, even uh, modern doctors also they are not ready to accept so easily this part. That is a different story. But uh, uh, very few uh, doctors like Dr. Rajesh Sher they are uh, very much into the uh, this one uh, our ancient philosophy or treatment both Ayurveda and Yoga. And in that part we are fortunate to integrate that uh, particular stream in this our uh, treatment part. And uh, the third part, as I mentioned, uh, that is also um, important, the therapies. There are multiple therapies, a set of uh, therapies, we call it as Panchakarma. Panchakarma is uh, five types of cleansing the body with the different techniques. The, in that part, what we do is, uh, we are cleansing the body with the different techniques, vomiting therapy, loose motion therapy, the enema therapy, bloodletting therapy and uh, one uh, nasyam therapy, we call it as head and neck cleansing technique. So, with that uh, what happens is we are uh, detoxing the body. Again, scientifically it is quite difficult to explain what exactly the detox is. Where is toxins, what is toxin and very difficult. It is more of experiencing. Once you go through that, you will experience how effective it will be. Hmm? And uh, the part of that again, uh, uh, according to the conditions, according to the challenges what you have, we will design what type of therapy will suit you accordingly we do. Generally speaking, this uh, particularly MS part, it is a more of a Vata and a Pitta uh, uh, combination that works on. In that part, two major therapies really works wonder. The purgation therapy and the enema therapy, so we call it as Basti Karma. Hmm. And again, both the things are uh, very much in depth. We have lot of lot of uh, 
details of that one in particularly the basti it works wonder for many of the people hmm? again uh, it is uh, individually based personally uh, designed programs there and uh, last part is i am slowly entering into the gross level to subtle level in the form of uh, mind to i mean body to mind part body to mind again you the ayurveda strongly believes in uh, the integrating body and mind called as the ayurveda doctors particularly we, we are vaidyas we call it as what we are is we are the health promoters hmm? we start to promote your healing and slowly it enters into self healing hmm? we are uh, the what i mean is the we have that power of uh, healing inside slowly with the effort of this uh, natural promotions slowly you will be entering into natural healing that is possible that we need to explore only by um, putting our uh, efforts i mean individual effort in the form of uh, we call it as subjective and objective both the things it is the subjective part of course uh, the professionals will help the objective part it is your own responsibility try to understand the function of the mind how it works how it uh, the positive mind and the the power of inner power of mind finding it out with that uh, we are slowly entering into that healthy um, uh, the healing that is most natural way of uh, healing we call it as we can explore people have shown multiple people have shown extreme diseases even cancers also it is proved that without any medications with the power of mind only they could heal their uh, the most of the many of the diseases so with this understanding we have uh, uh, this uh, collaboration of uh, this uh, ayurveda and yoga you must be knowing very well but still uh, in this part um, in this juncture of our uh, journey with the uh, multiple sclerosis yoga you need to understand very well again it is uh, the major part of the yoga we call it as yoga therapy it is individualized personal based uh, program that makes a very good program that is really required actually where according to your challenges uh, as i told uh, symptom wise and the disease wise we will uh, uh, customize one uh, particular set of practices and we will deliver it that only really helps otherwise if you do in a group or if you do your own by, by watching any of the videos or youtube or anything that is that won't be helpful also this uh, therapy part we call it as a training program in the training we do uh, uh, two things one is instruction another one is uh, corrections these two things are the most important thing while doing doing yoga many time we assume that we are doing correctly but uh, without our knowledge we will make lot of mistakes that correction happens with a very, very good, good good teacher only this most important thing with that uh, one is uh, the gross understanding that uh, physical practices slowly again it will enter into the more subtle practice it is called pranayama so the breathing techniques and uh, last is uh, some of the mind related practices either relaxation or uh, meditation kind of thing that really makes you into a wonderful journey of yoga where you see happiness the whole goal of uh, the yoga is yoga is nothing but uh, um, the calming down the mind settling down all the thoughts with that we are exploring the power of the mind hmm? with this understanding if you start the yoga that really makes a wonderful program otherwise we will end up with doing it mechanically few days we do then we will give it give it up and uh, that makes a again another very ordinary program of uh, you know this kind of therapies so with this understanding welcome to uh, purna and uh, uh, i am helping you i believe in more of interaction than uh, the giving uh, uh the lectures kind of thing hmm? if you have any doubts or anything we'll discuss openly let us see how we can uh, progress with our journey with the treating the ms any of you have any doubts regarding yoga and ayurveda both after examination of the patient do you i mean according to you you have to customize the uh, therapy right the correct correct <coughs> you can sit sir comfortably you make it, make yourself comfortable i can hear you yeah 
So how do we, which is a starting point? See, the, that's what, initially we will assess you. That is, ah. we, we start uh, our uh, treatment at this point and then, uh, then you, uh, you are involved in the care, care and therapy. See, for the first part is for the assessment. The, see, in uh, both in Ayurveda and Yoga, we have our own uh, uh, style of uh, assessing. Uh, unlike uh, just uh, speaking about your present history, past history, family history and all those things. There are a few other things, in particularly mind, uh, we are really uh, very much focusing on where we will collect uh, two things. One is your stress level, another one is your uh, um, the constitution that also we strongly believe in uh, treating. With that, we will uh, come up with the design of the treatment, either the therapies or uh, medications and uh, again followed by the yoga. Yoga suits to everybody. So, it is, there is no barrier for yoga. And uh, these two things, definitely the medications and this one, it is purely our responsibility. And uh, you need not uh, uh, really um, worry about all those things. Hmm? That okay. is how it goes. So, only hmm. mentioned about the uh, ironic medications. Correct. Not about the other uh, yeah. practice. That you use some metals. Asmas. Mm -hmm. Correct, correct. Uh, gold, silver, mercury, like that. Right, right. According to the allopathic medicine, these are all nephrotoxic in the sense. You are right. Toxic to the kidney. Correct. They produce really renal failure. Mm. All the stories about that. As you said, there isn't any real standardization in the preparation of the mm. uh, uh, medication. Correct. So, so that how part. Do we allay the apprehension. Correct. That part definitely you have a very valid question and it is uh, really need to understand uh, very thoroughly in depthly. It is a very sensitive part of uh, uh, the whole discussion also. Basmas or any other heavy metals if they are uh, prepared in a classical way, 100 percent sure it is a very safe medicine. It will not interact, it, wo it, is, it won't be any toxic kind of thing, anything. And uh, we will consider other way, like uh, there is no documentation, there is no uh, the research, okay. But we will come up with uh, other thoughts. So many years we are using, hundreds of hundreds of years we, we are using, how many patients are died with any of the, uh, the metal taking or the other basmas or whatever. So before uh, the British era, it is just exclusively it is going on with the, the only this Ayurveda part. Hmm? So much glorified it was. Uh, there is no other way of uh, treating also, even be before paracetamol and all those things. We are all living happily and uh, healthily throughout our lives. The modern uh, the medication, the major contribution of uh, all these uh, routine diseases is uh, thanks to that uh, uh, multiple medicines in the form of uh, high BP or cholesterol or everything, they are able to extend our lifespan thanks to modern uh, medicine in that part. Generally speaking, and uh, other part is also, I am not uh, against or denying any of the modern science. It is a wonderful system of medicine, it is a gift for us also. And uh, coming to uh, our own uh, uh, the concern on this uh, particular part, the uh, this one, if it is, as I told, if it is prepared classically, there is no problem at all, very comfortably we can take it. It will not intervene with whatever the medicines you are taking also. Hmm? even steroids or even the biological treatment also, it goes very well with it. It is proven and we have tried, many people, people many doctors tried also, it is no problem at all. Only thing is, at least for myself, while writing each and every medicine, I will be mentioning the company name in the bracket actually. So, those are all uh, time tested and uh, they are uh, very standard, uh, standardly prepared uh, medications. Definitely you can rely on that part. Hmm? No inhibitions at all in that part. Hmm? Yes. And uh, MS and all, see these type of uh, diseases are uh, coined uh, lately. The disease was there, even before it was there. It was discovered, it is not invented, the disease. Hmm? So, in that part, uh, we can correlate in our own uh, uh, ancient text, whatever the symptoms uh, mentioned in that uh, text, we can correlate very well with the, the uh, MS, but in a different uh, variety of contexts actually. So, in one particular uh, uh, disease classification, we can't uh, uh, fix it to uh, this MS, but uh, 
many of the different uh, texts uh, it is saying uh, manifestation of ms in different form that will we, we can correlate to uh, very, very well to that particular uh, uh, different uh, context and simultaneously we are treating we are seeing the uh, effect also that is the best part in that part you may be wondering the, how you are treating ms with the ayurveda it is not at all mentioned in uh, in ancient text hmm? it is a latest coined disease is uh, as good as any other uh, diseases also hmm? like that okay <laughs> it's a very very broad question very uh, it's a cure part um, as you know this uh, uh, different categories of ms rrms spms and all those things the we can uh, drag the recurrence actually with the, the symptom dragging it is definitely possible the cure if it is uh, dragged for many years um, i can call it as cure hmm? like that but uh, so far in my experience i didn't cure anybody hmm. i can't claim <laughs> yes they, they are not having any relapses or anything relapse uh, differing is uh, biggest advantage hmm? correct hmm. that's exactly what even allopathy is doing now right managing the condition you are right you are right okay. from an outcome correct. standpoint there's not much of a difference correct correct specifically for you are right <laughs> <laughs> Mm. You can take it, you can take it. That is why we go through all the details, whatever the medications and the details you are taking, then only we will plan. It is not just uh, writing some pills, take it along with that, it's not, we can't do that. Time gap of some half an hour or one hour. Correct, that gap should be there, half an hour gap we need to give it. Mm. Yes. Hmm. Another fundamental question, you said if it's done classically then it's okay, but how does one, you know, a lay person like us know how it has been? That's what I am telling, for, no at least for, for myself I am writing in the bracket the company name. <laughs> so, others uh, I can't assure that this one. Hmm? But of course, many of the doctors, even leading doctors also, they, without trusting anybody, they prepare their cells. Yeah. That is also there. Again, uh, uh, without uh, the knowing the content of all those things, it is quite difficult to comment on that one, yeah. that part. So, it is quite… Uh, that has been the major problem because hmm. I think not just for MS, but if you look at Ayurveda, like you said, that standardization. So, if you go to someone who has been practicing for generations, their family, they make it for us, it may work or not. Yeah. Two things, one, if that person is not there tomorrow, then we don't know what is the <laughs> thing put together. Second so, is if there is a side effect, mm. we don't know the constituents to go ahead and see how to kind of, you know, fight against those side effects, unlike allopathy. Yeah. So, while allopathy has side effects, the yeah. fact that the standardization is there is, you know, why all of us are... You are right. So, in that part, in the ground level, there is lot of, lot of works need to be done with, you know, for the Ayurveda. So, fortunately, Ayush ministry is helping us lot in uh, uh, nowadays, at least. Uh, in this government and uh, I don't know where we will end up with the going on lot of lot of researchers and all those things are going on but it is as I told uh, scientifically proving it uh, the bringing it under the lens of uh, science it is really really difficult hmm? so uh, one thing assure assurance is uh, as I told classically prepared no problem at all hmm? and again it is a custom made uh, this one for one particular Brahmivati, it is uh, given for uh, the MS, uh, it is a very absurd thing. Hmm? We do not believe in all those things actually. So, individually, the, there are two parts we are considering for each and every person, the patient wise. One is uh, the Prakriti, another one is Vikriti, we call it as. Prakriti is the natural form of our uh, constitution. Vikriti is uh, what exactly the disease manifestation is. Hmm? These two combination we understand, with that we will come up with the formulations. That is how it works. Hmm? Uh, yes. Does, do the medicines help uh, reduce the symptoms? Not about treatment, like we said, it's not, it's not, it doesn't have a cure, but will it help alleviate the symptoms that you are? That is what I am telling. The fatigue part, spasticity part, rigidity part, there are uh, wonderful combinations of uh, therapies and medications. It works actually. We have seen. A uh, lot of patients improving with that one. There is a very good boost, no? The confidence and uh, that itself. As I told, uh, the symptom relieving is a first level of uh, treating. And slowly we will enter into the immune system level. Like uh, stabilizing immunity, 
if it is in a inflammatory state again uh, we will do a uh, different variety of uh, therapies and treatment if it is in a uh, uh, recession state also the different thing we do all these things are all if any remnants of that previous episode of the manifestation <coughs> of disease we do in different way quite complex to explain because individually uh, uh, the designed uh, therapies and treatments but confidently i can uh, uh, tell that it is very effective the symptom management also in the longer time the immune system stability the prevention of uh, recurrence all those things are hmm? it is seen mm -hmm. okay it's good to hear that uh, those systems come and in the holistically uh, you are approaching the problem correct that's the rather than uh, i mean i i i am a allopathic man so I, I I know I I actually don't know anything about Ayurveda. Correct. And without knowing that, it's mm -hmm. difficult to say that it is not useful. It is no good or something like that. Yes. It's fine that it's good that we are yeah. taking hands. Yeah. In fact, uh, it is a long time dream of our team, Dr. Yes. Rajesh Sher and. Yes. And uh, fortunately, Dr. Rajesh Sher is very much inclined towards our ancient system of healing. Mm -hmm. yes. It is uh, with the multiple uh, hurdles we finally we come up with this shape. Actually, it is just a that's, beginning. That's, uh, uh, we hope for uh, a bigger, uh, uh, you know, scenario. Mm -hmm. yes. I don't know we, so where where we end up with. So yeah. that the documentation part uh, mm -hmm. is taken care of. Mm -hmm. That what the Correct. present science wants is evidence based. Where is the evidence? Correct. So when you shake hands, I think there will be documentation. Hmm. And uh, documentation brings in correct. In, uh, that is what uh, we are really keen on documenting and uh, making a very good, uh, okay. you know, research uh, thing that will end up with uh, um, acceptance. To be, I mean, uh, modify our beliefs. Correct. Or your beliefs. Correct. Mm -hmm. That's what I am telling. The acceptance, the general acceptance will be more with that. Now there is lot of inhibitions uh, with the. Uh, both the ways, even uh, many of the Ayurvedic doctors, them their cells are uh, not at all confident treating all these things, right. and uh, many of them uh, unfortunately still go much lower. Uh, they will uh, adulterate the medicine, so they will just uh, boost up with uh, some of the you know tranquilizers kind of thing. All those things uh, hamper the uh, purity of Ayurveda, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. So, with this all this idea only, we come up with uh, this particular uh, you know. Um, integration. <laughs> okay. I didn't get your point exactly. The so, take both the medicines together. Huh. Correct. There are things like, you know, the Ayurvedic medicine detoxifies. Hmm. Does that in any way affect the effects of the Ayurvedic medicine? No, 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 no. That won't be thrown out. <laughs> right. Detox means uh, it won't take out any medicines in the body. Detox is, uh, the general understanding of detox is, um, after metabolism, whatever uh, the wastage, um, like the gross wastage will happen in the form of uh, urine, stool and uh, sweating and all those things. There are subtle level of uh, wastages that will make a lot of uh, uh, nuisance. Particularly, we strongly believe this uh, fatigue part, fatigue syndrome. It is uh, the more of uh, the toxins in the muscles are uh, accumulated. Once it is wiped out, that will make a very good program. In that part, uh, the proper medication and all those things, uh, it is uh, naturally we can't take out from the body. Any of these uh, natural therapies won't. There is some extreme therapies called chelation therapy and all. They will uh, take out uh, those uh, chemicals and all. Mm -hmm. Yes. You all give a lot of emphasis on food. I believe food is the best medicine. I have seen right. that in the last few years. Any inputs that you have for us specifically? On See, the that's what. So the MS part, um, grossly speaking, speaking, uh, the the some uh, moderation in the food really makes a very good program. Hmm? Uh, extremes you avoid. As uh, all of you know, the proper big list of uh, junk food uh, definitely you need to avoid. Along with that, uh, refined food, all refined food avoid. Throw away refined food. I will tell you. Refined oil, the sugar, the 
even uh, uh, refined salt also the uh, table salt all these things are uh, equally poison to uh, any of the person it is not only for it salt or uh, regular uh, crystal salt you can use no crystal salt rock salt not required it is it is a medicinal form actually rock salt is not required typically this himalayan salt and you know that uh, pink salt and gold they are all the better in fact i prefer if you are in connection with any of the coastal people they classically know that one the even kerala people also they are they will be knowing how the naturally they will prepare the salt that uh, it is a little bit uh, muddy only musky mm -hmm. color mm -hmm. but it is very safe okay. it has all a uh, lot of uh, alkaloids which uh, counter with the the which are uh, harmful of that uh, particular uh, uh, the salt also the refined salt it is refined grossly in the form of filtration and all those things but it is uh, hardly anything uh, counteracting alkaloids are left out in that one that is really harmful it is same is in uh, any of the other food also hmm? even the refined maida or mm -hmm. white suji all those things are really not at all good they are all proven that they are pro inflammatory things the refined food are pro inflammatory hmm? correct hmm. okay anything else so the yoga <laughs> i am really keen on yoga yeah. yoga you all should practice so we do but the only thing is again it we need to make it uh, custom made hmm? so definitely we are uh, we can plan one a uh, um, taste of yoga we can make it in the online we both dr shashikant and me shashikant can you come you can start something give us some additional information on yoga also right 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 that is how hmm? correct so disease so we are not treating the disease we are treating the person mm -hmm. that is how it goes okay yes shashika come <laughs> so there is a good uh, initial discussion of uh, how ayurveda and uh, uh, modern medicine are inte integrating and or at one particular platform uh, we are integrating i want to clarify few things which are very straight forward questions uh, one your question was uh, how to find out that is there any heavy metals or anything in that particular medicine so for that there are three answers i don't want to take the name of that particular institution so there are three institution one is a particular lab one is some name followed by drug house bangalore malleshwaram you give the sample medicine whatever you are taking from whichever doctor note down the doctor's name prescription and medicines give it to them around 4800 rupees they'll tell you all the details what is the arsenic content lead content all the medicinal content you give it to them they'll give you so this uh, uh, this is available for us to for you to know that uh, any doctor from any source uh, you get the medicine you go and give it to uh, them they'll give you unbiased uh, uh, opinion it is a government uh, funded institution you can note down also i don't mind uh, i am not sure if it is there or not bangalore drug house is what i i usually we go under uh, is like under current under carpet we don't reveal to anybody but we get to know that which particular company have how much uh, percentage of metals on all we know it at the back but we don't want to create a hustle or we don't want to create problem for that particular institution and for us legally so we'll keep quiet and we use in our uh, Uh, you know prescribed medication we make sure that you know in the in this particular place where i call if you remember if you th imagine like one circle is a conventional medicine another circle is complementary medicine so when this intersect that part of uh, part we call it as integrative medicine so we try to keep it as evidence based as possible and as much as you know uh, take out the Uh, bias around that particular things and there is false allegations also from both the sides uh, which we need to segregate without uh, uh, debating or without uh, you know falsely accusing each other but we have to accept the fact that in india there is no proper promotion of ayurveda and yoga which should be more in western aspect 
if you uh, check uh, national council of Compre complementary and alternative medicine nccam they give maximum funding for yoga and ayurveda worldwide not india ayush and uh, icmr is second highest so not india we we try to see anything indigenous we try to double check anything western uh, if a uh, mcdonalds comes to india uh, mcdonalds old burger will cost you uh, around 39% of unwanted fat we never check that and when same things comes to India, it will become 59 percent, if at all we see. But we order and we get it. Where there we will not check about what is the percentage of uh, uh, bad fat we are having. We never check. So that is our Actually, mind. You should teach everyone that Tai Chi. Ah, yes, sir. Chinese <laughs> name, no? so, yeah. so we don't become Kung Fu Pandas. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes. So what I mean to say is, uh, we need to encourage that. Uh, I want to take one example, what sir mentioned, Kung Fu Panda. So when I have seen Chinese counterpart, Government institutions give permission for allopathy hospitals when there is a proper TCM unit in that particular hospital, then approval of that mainstream uh, medical hospital, they will approve it. So, what they mean is, uh, government, government initiative to promote Ayurveda in India, it is lacking compared to other western things. That's why when you compare WHO, uh, acupuncture, all other systems will come first because they are all more, they are pushed towards uh, more research activities and, and uh, by byproduct of that more of uh, allopathy doctors accept it. So we go in that category only. We Here we exclusively use Ayurveda, Yoga, acupuncture evidence based, as evidence based as possible. So let's talk more uh, practice, we will do a Jacobson's progressive muscular relaxation technique which you are already know it and multiple times you have done it. So, now, post COVID era, we will redo it again. Is anybody practicing the pedagogy? No, sir. That was a strong point where I started coming a little less to that because we, I, we used to give only three remedies. One breathing technique because we want your lung volume to increase so that we don't know why the disease comes and if your lung volume is better, there might be some uh, somewhat like neuroprotective activities should be more, neurotoxic activities should be the less. If your oxygen saturation is better, it can fight a little better. So to cope up with that, uh, we have some, you know, increased stress uh, reduces your immunity as a uh, lot of research activities say, especially I mentioned one particular doctor which all the doctors has to note down and I want you to read. Uh, Dr. Robert Sapolsky is the first doctor you can note down. His uh, research work on the stress and individual uh, systems, stress and digestive system, stress and heart and stress and immunity and all. Dr. Robert Sapolsky is called as uh, father of modern stress. Second one is Dr. Dr. Rob Robert Sapolsky. Sapolsky. Yeah. Second one is Dr. Russian. Herbert. Huh? Russian. Robert, I am not sure. It's uh, American. I think it's from Stanford. His wife is a neurophysician. They both work with work with uh, uh, baboons, and uh, a lot of research they have published. Second one is Dr. Herbert Benson, who was the first person to do a, a integrative medical research and uh, given the word, uh, the word called as the relaxation response, which we never study in our medical system. The relaxation response, Dr. Herbert Benson. Third, another person is uh, Dr. Mehmet Oz, who is a cardiothoracic surgeon who practices yoga and Ayurveda, pre and post uh, cardiothoracic surgery. Fourth one is uh, who is the present uh, Adi Raja Maharaja? His name is changed Adi Raja Maharaja. His name I am I am not able to remember. Yeah, I will be sending all notes on MS group, so not much people response. Dr. Tony Nadir. These four people's work you see, there will be mind blowing work and not being Indian. So, JPMR is again. Jacobson was a Canadian physician who was very much interested in Yoga Nidra. Yoga Nidra. He adopted Yoga Nidra and modified in the form of a biorhythm, taking out all the other Omkara, he taken out all the godly issues, you know, all those which we Indians don't like. He has taken out and made it as a progressive relaxation technique. It is also called as NMR, Neuromuscular Relaxation Technique. Let us practice that. It's very simple technique, 5 seconds contraction of certain group of muscles followed by 5 seconds relaxation of same group of muscles. and be aware of that. Yeah, and I think we, uh, before that, I think sir can speak some few words. Sir. <laughs> sir. So, good evening, welcome to our center. For this, sorry, uh, mic cut, yeah? Okay, all right. I am fine here, Ashok. Can't say, yeah? Huh? Okay, so uh, what happens, The we should understand the natural history of MS, okay? 
so if you look at large data left untreated half the patients will have disabilities mainly with walking and uh, cognition in under 15 years of ms from the time of onset and uh, untreated almost 90% of patients will have disabilities in 30 or 20 25 years okay so uh, there are some risk factors for developing disabilities that we need to understand so previously it was all like you know you make a diagnosis you wait for 6 months sometimes wait for a year and there were people who used to say that you know when we were students they used to teach us that okay you just made a diagnosis of ms why don't you wait for 2 years amla treatment madabodu anta but what happens is the ms is different in each patient it's not and within a given patient also it's not same there will be ups and downs fluctuations how the immune system reacts at different points of your time is very different so it's important to recognize the risk factors of developing disabilities and address that early so that disabilities don't happen now the disability is mainly because of shrinkage of the nervous system normally after a certain age i'll put it as 54 i am just 52 now <laughs> <laughs> so beyond 50 50 54 years of age the brain starts shrinking by about 0.5 percentage 0.4 percentage to be precise every year and this shrinkage is little bit more in people with uh, ms and that leads to more disabilities and if there are lesions in the lower part of the brain or spinal cord we have several instances where brain is absolutely normal but when you go down brain stem medulla spinal cord if these regions are involved there are disabilities so if we recognize these risk factors and treat it early we can prevent uh, you know many of the problems with ms now unfortunately the medicines that we have as of now they don't get into the brain so the disease is primarily in the system in the bone marrow that's where the immune system is so disease primarily happens there and then the cells get into the nervous system or the blood brain barrier anta undi that so where uh, it crosses the cells cross the blood brain barrier and get into the brain alli hogi rest maadibittu alli inda it creates injuries like having a trojan horse something like that so our medicines they all work you know inside the periphery they don't get into the brain so whatever has gone in nothing can be done for that if you give rituximab a small percentage goes there very very small percentage so now of late we have given intrathecal rituximab i think raju nair was our first patient and he has he has, he has much, his speech has improved he has he has improved a lot we gave a second dose we finished yesterday so this is one way of bypassing the system and reach the brain directly that brings down the cost also just 25 30 mg is what we need to inject so this is one way that we are trying but if you look at big data they say it doesn't make a big difference but at least in this case where you know we can't give he gets lot of infections we can't give systemic uh, rituximab so uh, presently we don't have too many options the newer drugs which are going to come like tall protein it is called btk inhibitors these kind of medicines get into the nervous system hopefully in a year it's under clinical trials hopefully in one or two years it should make a big difference in treating ms now the thing is what happens to patients where the brain is already shrunk so is there anything in your system which can make the brain grow <laughs> yeah which can make the brain grow right so 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 not that brain always shrinks if you look at uh, uh, the the accountant's brain you know, accountants are people who write lot of things they are always in focus with money so they keep on calculating their brain is not only sharp and it is a ram is faster so they are sharp and their brain doesn't atrophy that fast because they are always calculating and counting so if we do some new learning that's what keeps the brain active and plus if you use some supplements which can boost brain functions that can make a big difference in preventing brain shrinkage if we prevent brain shrinkage then probably yes we can prevent progression of the disease all right so probably our effort shashi should be to do some research on you know alternative in a, in my field like we don't have too many options to prevent you know brain shrinkage of course neuropsychology can help the neuropsychology who gives the training who makes people learn think you know that can help to a great extent but if you have something which can get into the brain recently we happened to go to a place near kanyakumari there's a very big ayurvedic doctor but he is well read in allopathy and his half of his practice is in uh, neurology and he gets patients from different countries he has been very kind to you know come and he'll come sometime to help us so what what he said is you know ayurveda has different types you got uh, something called grizam grizam means which is ghee form and that is the one which hits nervous system because it's fat soluble a brain is fat 
so if you have a brain disease we should eat a uh, medicines in the gridam form so they already have the concept of getting something inside the brain and if it is uh, in the blood you use something which is uh, aristam or which is alcohol based good for us yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know water form what is what is it called uh, kashayam so these are three forms of ayurvedic therapy but unfortunately we don't have too much of proof in the alternative systems what we have from the allopathy side is all evidence based you know this medicines you have data you say that okay you give this medicine so for example you take interferon or dimethyl fumarate you know the success will be around 30 to 50 percentage you treat 100 people 30 to 50 will achieve no evidence of disease activity you use a drug like alemtuzumab your success rate is close to 90 percentage uh, rituximab or ocrelizumab tisabri all these things will fall around that 75 to 85 percent categories so uh, none, none, none of these medicines are 100 percent so still you know there is some progression happening and uh, some degeneration still takes place but there is a good category of this is what has misled many people so there are some patients with ms who have a very benign disease It roughly happens in about 20 to 25% of patients what we call as a benign ms even if you don't take treatment nothing happens and you know this floats you know they will tell the others that uh, i am i am okay yeah correct <laughs> correct and all those things and everybody will say yeah yeah i am taking medicine i am getting side effects and all those things so yeah so and we know of lot of uh, our people who are and, and and then we have a lot of people who have come back from uh, the learned us you know they say and, and many of them are on uh, you know uh, with are uh, with problems they say that you know we read about the medicine there are side effects <laughs> so they have not taken medicines but you know you should know that there are effects you know i mean even when you walk on the road there can be side effects <laughs> into little bit cautious about what we are thinking and doing so as of now you know we'll focus on uh, uh, improving the brain volume maybe this year should be our theme to improve brain volume brain yeah yes one to brain setup na namda sompa chikku ide cerebellum matra kelsa martta ide ಡಯಟ್ <laughs> 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 so it's not like that but you know when you add multiple dimensions to the therapy it makes a big difference so just uh, yesterday we had a day for us we had an alzheimer and dementia day. world alzheimer's day yeah. mm. world alzheimer's day 21st yeah and uh, so there were come questions like people were saying that if you move your tongue like this mm-hmm. uh, it's supposed to you know improve the memory and other things walk so, backwards yeah <laughs> So mm. people who are having some experience, they were saying that there's no harm in doing it. So Not you can do public. it. Correct. So Not in public. Not in public. <laughs> so like what you are saying. these uh, diets and all those things they are not going to do any harm anyway so correct there are anecdotal yeah. cases you can't generally you can't say that it's a medicine you yeah, take that medicine, it works but they can always try it along yeah. with yeah. one of the yeah true so uh, we lack evidence in many of these things but just lack of evidence doesn't mean that it is not there right. so we in 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 clinical practice we have class 1 class 2 class 3 and class 4 evidence class 1 is something which is based on rcts so for a drug to get approved it has to go through a rct 
So rituximab is a typical medicine which will never get an approval because it cannot go through an RTC. Companies don't make profit. Whereas ocarilizumab, which is exactly like rituximab, got accelerated approval in few months. Was exactly similar. And they are going to market it in India now. So I, I told those company guys, we will not write ocarilizumab. We already have a better drug than one tenth of your cost. Hmm? Yeah, fine. So let us uh, have something to eat, Rani ji. Huh? Oh, busy, busy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so before that, you know, uh, you met uh, Dr. Aishwarya, right? So, uh, so uh, she is going to become a doctor. She is a she is a guju. Huh? So she uh, she is st studying uh, MPhil, right? Masters in neuropsychology at Christ University. Oh, she so, said Telugu. Telugu? No, no, no. I can speak that. Yeah. But she will speak in uh, Gujarati. Ki soche, like that. Huh? So, so, cho, cho. Okay, whatever. So, so she uh, she can help us with uh, improving the brain volume. So, I given her some task to do SDMT. So, this is a, so this is a form she has taken print out. If anyone wants to try how your cognition is working, she can, what you are going to do in this? Uh, so as you can see, from 1 to 9 there are numbers and below each number there are distinctive symbols there. So 1 has different symbols, 2 has different symbols, 3 has different symbols. Uh, below that you can see 4 rows too. Each row has a, uh, 1 to 9 numbers. So you have to see as 1 has the uh, dash symbol. So where 1 is uh, mentioned in the row, you have to put the dash symbol. And for the 3 you have to put the square symbol. All the rows you have to fill with the symbols mentioned above to the to the corresponding numbers. Uh, I can show you a demonstration if you'd like to have it. But, but the, the, yeah, after yeah. the after the so, break, huh? So let's try. Whoever wants to try, try. Let's see how our brain works. I will not try. <laughs> <laughs> come, come, please join. Yeah, come. And uh, we, from, on behalf of all of us, we'd like to thank you for all these years. Every uh, you know, without I was just this morning, honestly. I was just thinking that without your support, I don't know how we have survived. So let's give a big round of applause. For our Shashi has made one more discovery. Yeah. Uh, he got us one guy from Redcliffe. So he is a Redcliffe is a lab which runs in US, UK. And now they are into India. So that guy has offered us good rates for our uh, investigations. So uh, maybe we can use it if required to uh, you know do those investigations come 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 yeah please please yeah whoever can uh, go please go yeah, yeah please help yourself <laughs>